We don't have very long to What is your verdict? Find the defendant guilty. The deadly narcotic. Say to the devil for the jury. You've got to get a hold of yourself. I was really hoping to get some like really good sun rising dramatic time lapse but uh, literally every time I try to get a time lapse when I finally have time or I finally get the idea of making this super cinematic vlog with a time lapse I get this kind of weather. Good morning fellow Jeepers. Right now it's about 7 a.m. But I woke up at 9 a.m. So since I've been off my job, I haven't been forced to wake up as early as I usually do. So lately I've actually been sleeping in super late and waking up super late, like nine o'clock is about when I wake up usually. Last night I was editing a video and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna see if I can stay up late doing productive things. I did all that and then this early morning I made some, myself some breakfast. I went got a time lapse and now we're here. So I'm already trying to make a good situation out of a crummy one. I have a love-hate relationship with this weather because, well, for instance, today I'm trying to penny board and it's wet. It's definitely, definitely not impossible, but it's definitely not ideal as well for anyone who's ever ridden a skateboard you know that when it's wet it's not really a good idea in the first place for safety reasons and because it's just not as easy to ride as it would be also because this is a penny board I don't have any grip tape so it's just plastic on rubber wet rubber because it's wet outside Maybe I just need to have a more positive outlook on the morning. I mean, on the bright side, the birds are chirping, the weather's not really cold, it's not really warm either, but it's definitely a nice mild feel. Even though it is wet, it's not that bad. I just made a whole video trying to get a picture of something with my Canon 7D, and then the continuing of the video talking about what I was doing with my Canon 7D, and I set up my camera just in the right wrong spot and got none of it on video. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to get interestingly good pictures after what I've learned about DSLR cameras, just studying ISO and just different things about that. So I'm trying to see what I can do. The problem is, is I have a very cheap kit lens, 18 to 55 millimeter. It comes on like literally any Canon camera you buy. So I'm pretty limited to what I can do, but we're still going to see if I can find anything interesting. I have the most foolproof setup right now, honestly. Got my camera around my neck, my backpack with like literally all the camera gear I own and my computer in my backpack. And I'm holding this camera and I'm penny boarding in the rain. But what could possibly go wrong? I mean, I'm getting good practice in, I think. Not too bad. I noticed that it's making kind of a gritty noise. I think that I'm getting grit and um, I'm definitely making the camera lens dirty. So I probably need to pack up now because I need to clean that and figure out what that gritty noise is. I have so much respect for these people who wake up every morning just to go jogging. I really need to start doing it though because honestly it is really something that needs to happen. 
because I locked both my doors and didn't bring a key. Always be optimistic. No one stole my banana. What is your verdict? Find the defendant guilty. It's the Canon EOS 10 to 18 millimeter f 4.5 by 5.6. Kind of a cheap lens, but lens aren't cheap, so that's why it's a question. I guess you only live once. Just gotta find someone who can help us. Thank you. You too. Got myself a little gift, I guess. That works. So far the lenses I've been using on my DSLR have been pretty direct and I had been considering getting a Canon 70D which I still plan on getting but the biggest thing was the lens. Anyone who can tell you anything will tell you that I mean the camera is important but the lens is usually the main thing and this is a broader scope lens it's not as direct. I've been using a kit lens lately so aside from our mom's lenses but she usually doesn't have a broad scope lens so this I think would be helpful for my vlogs on its own and I'm gonna see if I can start using a DSLR. Okay, so I was gonna talk into the camera like this right now. It's not crooked. This right now, this is what it would look like. After recording that whole segment, I realized that I had this cord plugged into my device. This is the cord specifically for using a phone. It's a completely different cord for the DSLR, so everything I just said became pointless. Basically what I said is, I'm gonna start using this Canon 7D opposed to this as my prime camera because it's better, or it should be better. And that's basically what I said. If we're really wanting to get into the goody goody of today, it would be this. So I'm ready to rip this thing open and see what it is we're looking at exactly. So. Let's just pop this on with the same settings. It's like unwrapping a Christmas gift. I wonder if this will fit. The answer is no. So this here, this is going to be what you should be seeing from now on in every single video. Or at least this is the plan. And hopefully this is going to help me make more interesting, more entertaining. Well, I guess the entertainment's gonna be the same. So, it's still gonna be boring and pointless, but hopefully more cinematic looking videos. And I'm hoping that with this new transition, it'll inspire me to create better kind of cinematic films and with what I've been studying and stuff, I'm hoping that this new concept will kind of I don't know, I've, I've kind of felt inspired recently while I'm doing this and with my mom helping me learning how to use different things and studying just just how to use a better camera opposed to just like this thing here. And I mean, these work great, but just being able to broaden my knowledge of how to make with filmmaking and whatnot is just, I think, going to be really helpful with this process and just 
maybe pursuing a career of using this stuff. And if not, at least being able to create this art of filmmaking that will be entertaining to at least somebody down the road. It's gonna be fun learning to just play with this. This is a completely different experience, honestly. Like, you can see everywhere as opposed with this, you could see like here. Now it's like whoosh, but then I can just focus in on those really interesting things and just be like, what we're talking about right now is important. But now I can come over here. That was a hard spot. That was hard.